Um, and she says, I was given no advance information or agenda for the meeting. Dr Hull insisted I attend alone. At the meeting, Daryl Hull informed me his decision by the board to terminate my employment. Daryl Hull informed me that because of my membership and association with the inn, it was necessary that my employment be terminated in the best interest of Ticho, made reference <coughs> to the Royal Commission, stated my union membership would be a liability in my position at Ticho. <coughs> Daryl Hull did not include this information in his email dated 5 March. <coughs> and then um, Dr Hutchinson goes on, it's not a valid or logical or fair reason for terminating my employment, etc. In the next paragraph, if there was to be an issue with the Royal Commission or relocation of the corporate function, should have been addressed objectively and openly. And then uh, well, in a nutshell, she <coughs> is complaining about the decision to terminate her employment and asks that it be reconsidered. Uh, now, did you why did you or did you um, say that Dr Hutchinson's employment should be terminated because of her membership and association with the union. I didn't. Right. Was that a, have you written back or have you written a letter expressing that position? Uh, no. All right. So um, you, what did you say at the meeting on Adelaide Airport on 4 March? With respect to that, yes. it was a context of a range of conversations about the need to move the business back to Sydney for the reasons I've outlined earlier in terms of strategy and corporate stuff. We had been uh, trying for 12 months to get traction with Blue Card. The board had reached the conclusion that one of the problems was we were still too closely identified with the union. Um, there was a sense that by moving uh, things back to Sydney, inviting me to be more involved in it as someone who was not associated with the union, uh, that might assist in getting traction as part of a range of other initiatives as well. Um, I can see that Dr Hutchinson uh, may have misinterpreted that as uh, me suggesting that her role with the union was an issue. But that was not the intention. It was a misunderstanding. The issue was that it would be good for us to actually have, um, um, again, a little bit further distance for the purposes of marketing and strategic and corporate work uh, between Ticho and um, um, the TWU in any event. I might say that um, uh, Dr Hutchinson and I have spoken since then. Uh, she was upset about the termination of her employment. I was very upset about the fact that we had to go through this together <coughs> because as the independent chair of a part-time board, it was never my intention to find myself um, dismissing people. It's not the way I felt the chair would work. But if someone had to have the conversation, I felt I should have to have it rather than send the TWU over. Uh, and we met at Adelaide Airport, she's quite correct. Um, for the purposes of a long discussion about the direction of the business, of which this was a small part in the conversation. Right. Uh, well, I, since then, I might say that um, she was upset, I was upset. Um, we both calmed down, we both talked it through. Uh, we both agreed that it was uh, an emotional time for both of us. But we've worked our way through that and there's now a very successful transition program in place uh, to achieve the outcome with which I'm certainly comfortable and uh, it is my understanding that Dr Hutchinson is also comfortable. And was the Royal Commission discussed at the meeting at Adelaide Airport? It would have been hard not to discuss it. It had been announced at that time and um, uh, I think there was a general sense of concern about um, what would be the implications for Ticho in its uh, acceptance in the marketplace, even through, for example, my appearance here today to explain factually what we do. Um, 
simply because we had endeavoured to uh, simply let TJO get on with the job. And the Royal Commission obviously shines a spotlight on uh, who we are and what we do and why. And was the concern that, um, or was your concern that, or the board's concern that Ms. Hutchin, Dr. Hutchinson would be seen as um, a person with close connections and affiliations with the TWU? I think the concern was that um, if there were to be commentaries made about Ticho at any level or in any form whatsoever, one of the challenges that we would face is uh, Dr Hutchinson's close relationships uh, with the TWU um, over a period, uh, even though from, the, from my point of view and hers and certainly the board's point of view, that in no way affected her ability to do her job which up until that stage she'd done extremely well and very competently. I see. So, and you thought, or you or the board thought that the way to deal with that would be to remove Dr Hutchinson from her position? No. But isn't that what you told her was going to happen on the 4th of March? But not because of this. Not because of the Royal Commission. Well, it, it was because you say that Ticho is going to move to Sydney partly, but also because to have more weight or gain more appreciation, it should have the appearance of being less connected with the TWU. The decision to move to Sydney was a purely financial decision in terms of not having enough funds uh, to be able to maintain both Dr Hutchinson and myself doing corporate and strategic work in Sydney. That was the underpinning reason for the decision. Uh, when we discussed the future of the business, we talked about a range of factors that had all come together at the same time, unfortunately, because we were trying to do the business uh, before and in separate to the Royal Commission's uh, existence. And I just said I think it adds um, an extra factor in the situation, which just makes it even more challenging for us to deal with Ticho as an ongoing business trying to build an industry forum. And it was just coincidence, was it, that that factor emerged at that time? Total coincidence. But the existence of the Royal Commission had some impact, I suggest to you, on the decision to terminate Dr Hutchinson? No. None at all? In respect of either the decision or the timing? Not in my view. Well, that view isn't consistent with Dr Hutchinson's letter of 11 March 2014. You'd have to discuss that with Dr Hutchinson. As I said, it was a very emotional time and people were exchanging robust views on a range of matters. You mean, well, by people, you mean you and Dr Hutchinson or do you mean other people? No, no, just myself and Dr Hutchinson trying um, to find a way through what was a difficult situation for both of us. Right. Um, are you looking at a letter of 11 March 2014? Mm. That was addressed to Mr Sheldon and Mr Kane? Correct. Um, now, were you writing to them as you understood it in their capacity as board members or in their capacity as officials of the TWU? Board members. Um, was there any reason you didn't write to the other board members? No. Uh, all right, and did... Did... This letter accurately reflect the conversation, so far as you understood it, that you'd had with Dr Hull at the meeting at Adelaide Airport on the 4th of March? From my perspective, yes. Well, it was an accurate letter as far as you were concerned, written a week or so yes. after the events. Yes. And you tried accurately to set out what Dr Hull had said to you um, at the meeting of 4 March. Is that right? To the best of my recollection. Well, are you agreeing with me? You tried accurately to set down in your letter of 11 March 2014 what had occurred at the meeting of 4 March 2014? Yes. Was anyone else present at the meeting? No. further thank you